Howdy gang. Right then, so we've got Europeans coming up. And Dante is very kindly going to test some um, Pomars with us. So uh, I'm going to go for the old E Uncar uh, Stormtrooper Death Trooper. And um, we'll just get straight into this and see what we can do with this deck against that deck because I have got three not massively strong characters um, and uh, Dante knows how to play Pomas, he's good with it so we'll um, see how this little setup it's the first time I've played Imperial Inspection deck against Pomas so let's see what happens definitely want to see personal shield early on and we like the data pad early on uh, I just have to stay alive against him so I'm tempted to get rid of that and that and we'll put two back draw two. Oh, nice and we got salvage stand as well which might help somewhat so that's cool And just double check our stream, make sure we're all working good. That's cool. Yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna get wrecked by both specials, but let's see what happens. Oh, that's a decent roll, seven. Yeah. Uh, um, this is one of those ones where I might actually let him go with his. Actually, no, that's just stupid. Let's not let him go with his throne room disgusting uh, right so let's um, stick out salvage stand hold that last up nice Yeah, my, my fear with this deck is that thermal detonators going off are just going to completely muller me all the time. Right, he's used up all his resources, so that's actually not terrible. Now, this is one of those times where I could take the chance and play out the best defence, but I don't feel like it's a sensible thing to do. However, it would just get rid of those. It probably is. I'm going to do it. And I'll put three onto Death Trooper. Just because Maz is going to be a much less effective now. He's rolled two resources, yeah, whatever. He's going to take two. He will be claiming at this rate. So as it's all going nice and steady, let's do this. And hopefully I can build him a nice lot of resources. Oh, he's got the old planetary uprising. Okay. Well, let's hit this. What have we got? Disrupt. And, oh. Death Trooper here. Actually, I'd quite like to, be able to put that out on him. Let's roll this and see if we can get that resource off him. I'd like to be able to roll that premium shield. This uh, premium shield, <laughs> personal shield. Okay. I'm not going to discard Electroshock just to try and get personal shield out this round. That is frustrating that I could do with those. Maybe I should. Do you know what? I am going to. Oops. I am going to. Just keep that one. Guess I'll be using on Car's ability then with those three disrupt. Hopefully it's something big and juicy against Poe. Okay, yeah, that's not bad one to get rid of. Uh, so I can now pay the two, get out the personal shield, 
and roll him. Uh, let's put one on here. In fact, let's just put two on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> he has played both of them out. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take a shield. Mm, interesting. I need to keep Onkar alive. I can bring these guys back so they can just be taking damage. Psh. Uh, actually, no, let's, let's do on to Poe. Uh, and we'll take another resource. Okay. Yeah, that was still a lot of damage that round, really, and it's just because of these. Planetary uprisings. No, I am running. Um, uh, what's it called? Sabotage. There we go. I might have to use it this round, you know. Um, but oh, that means discarding some good stuff. That's painful. Okay, he's played out of fast hands on Poe. Mm. I've got no removal. I need to play out an Imperial Inspection. That's, and then I can play out the, maybe the one rifle or something like that, perhaps. And I can get rid of one of those. But he's just going to claim and get it back. Oh, this is the worst, worst battlefield to bring to this game. <laughs> this is horrible. damage I can't even use personal shield on it oh yeah <laughs> oh this is horrific see I've been feeling like if there's a few decks I mean I haven't seen hardly any removal I've seen electroshock and that um, best defense, and that's it. It's literal. I've seen. Uh, let's yeah, let's bounce that back as well. We got the uh, right the focus into the the three kill the trooper. Oh dear, Oops. it's not looking good. One card's ability, can it hit something good? <laughs> Gives me resources at least. Treat is a brilliant card to play in that deck. Yep. Two. Mm, let's have a look here. And pay two for this. This is just pointless. Uh, Pay one. I don't think we're just going to get anywhere near what we need to be doing here. And there's actually no point sabotaging, he's just going to be so fast. Oops, I think I'm going to have to not take this deck, whatever happens. Two, three. Psh. 
uh, not to its battlefield is what I meant to say. Oh man, yeah, a bit shell shocked. That was basically like it always goes against Poe Miles. <laughs> I am just not seeing enough removal. I have ten removal cards in this deck. That is frustrating. Uh, you know all the damage there. Yeah, three. Okay, let's go again. We're going to go again. So, uh, problems there. I think the main problems were that I just didn't draw enough removal. I have a lot of removal cards in here. It should have done slightly better than it just did there. That was really poor. It shouldn't have been quite that bad. Okay. Let's see what we get here. It's actually not a terrible starting hand. Maybe get rid of cheat. Uh, actually, maybe I want to get rid of this as well because I'd rather pull personal shield. Two. Oh, don't. This still builds local garrison in. <laughs> don't. That's the card I've actually taken out. That's annoying. Okay, I am playing with a slightly different build to that which I had hoped to be playing with. Uh, he's won it. Yeah. Well, either way, I was playing with. We're playing with a battlefield that's just painful. Uh, let's get two on Uncar. It all goes wrong if Uncar dies. Here we go. Hit and run. He hit the two. Oh, he hit the focus. That's about right. <laughs> Detonate it every time. In fact, I can't remember the last time, uh, first round that I played against a Poe Mouse that it didn't get the detonator off in the first round. It's just so annoying every time. Uh, I'm going to electroshock just because that's a better, uh, slightly more specific removal. So we'll do that. Oh, he's got out the planetary uprising again. Oh, guys, got wrecked by both. Exactly, yeah. Main problem is, yeah, I mean, if you can get to remove those dice first. Uh, you know, you do get that one go, that one window, um, but ultimately, yeah, it's just a tough order. Why does it go to three first? Is it suddenly one clicking to three now? Bizarre. Okay. He is claimed. I seem to bounce back with Imperial Inspection. Uh, I don't think it will make a difference, but we'll do it anyway. We will focus to the two, do four, two, po, pay three, garrison, 
Yeah, he'll probably be able to hit his his fours, um, his um, range sides, but. <sighs> Last hands. Well, if I can hit the inspection, that would be good. Yeah, let's do it. Bounce that back. Hit and run, of course. Hooray! Didn't roll a flipping focus. There you go. Then. <clears throat> two to trooper, two to death trooper. Okay. Uh, I need to get some damage out fast. But I also need to stay alive. He's gonna have a reroll. See, I can. I can't play flank then. I need to be able to play flank. Ooh, what should we do? Personal shield is gonna be good, but I won't be able to play that flank. So I'm gonna play it onto. As ridiculous as it is, I'm going to be playing it onto him. So, let's get him to discard to reroll. Just going to claim. Oh, has he got thermal? Launch bay in for three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do two onto one car. Uh, right then, so he's got three in hand. Right, I can play it out now, so I'm probably best off. Hmm. I could get more resources back, so I think... Oh, keeping these guys alive is the most important. What could I do? I could do six damage, even if I get hold out blaster on. That isn't going to kill Poe. So I need to pay, I'm going to get to kill him this, this turn, so we'll play out the personal shield. Um, I'm going to discard confiscation, because if I roll a resource, no, there's just no way I can get that holdout blaster out as well. Maybe local garrison isn't, well, it's not in the norm build that I've been using, so I will be getting rid of it. It won't be normally in the deck, so let's discard confiscation. Um, I feel like re-rolling. Oh, do we roll that death trooper? Probably not. Well, I can always focus it. Oh dear. Uh, I don't think that other Imperial inspection is going to really be all that much use, especially now that I've got the local garrison out. Oh. Okay, there's resources, which is good, and the focus, I suppose. Yeah, okay, let's take three. Actually, no, because I need that to be. Oh no. I need to take shields. Got to, got to, got to take shields. Uh, there's no point sticking extra damage on here. Ugh. But I've got to take the resources. Um, I might have to discard to reroll. That needs to be. I'll just because otherwise I'll just go for. A Big disrupt. <sighs> Dear me. Look at that. I just didn't want to roll any damage, did it? Um, I 
think this is possibly the wrong play. Because I feel like I should be getting shields, but whatever. Uh, oops. One, two, three, Tapo. Oops, he's going to have Field Marshal and all that sort of thing going on, but never mind. Ugh. Oh. Removal, yeah. I feel like I'm playing with slightly the wrong build as well, which is really annoying. I apologize, guys. I should have 10 cards of removal in this deck. <laughs> I'm loving all the exhaling. Sorry, yes, this might be a bit of a stroppy sounding uh, thing. It's like I hate playing against Pomaz, but it's such a cool deck at the same time. Ooh. Well, I'll flank one away. Only I've drawn. If I'm playing with the other builds, got all the removal in. Annoying. Uh, so you'll take one and you'll tap. Not resolving those. Okay. Uh, I feel like I need dice for. Uh, okay, I can bounce that back at least. Ugh. <laughs> what a rubbish roll. Oh, there's twos on him. I do love on Car's ability. Okay, he's rolled a focus. What's he going to focus into? A damage. He's only on seven, so that's not too bad. Um. So I could bring the holdout blaster back for the local garrison, I think. Cheat. Just because if I can do it, I might be able to kill Poe. There's a slim chance here. So we'll pay two. And roll them in. Now he has got two resources, so can he be playing dodge? Oh, that roll. Oh, that roll. <laughs> Negotiate. Okay, let's remove that and. And young Carl, I guess. Rubbish. Should have used that one disrupt. It's poor play. Sorry, guys. It's very poor play by me. It really is. Take one onto him. Yeah, he'll take one. No, and then one on here. Uh, and then we'll do one to Poe. Why didn't I do that disrupt? Seriously annoying myself. T 
two of the best defence. Can't play. Can't play it. <laughs> Double blanked. Uh, I think I just need to oh, see Maz is going to get to do the business what player have I got here there is literally no way I can roll and resolve with this deck Uh, well, she might not roll any damage. You never know. Personal shield could keep him alive. Oh, he's rolling all the naff stuff. <laughs> there you go, guys. There it is. going haven't you let's hold out blaster <laughs> let's get loads and loads of resources from plut and endless ranks it's not over till it's over Kill him. Can you go for the two? No, special. No, the one disrupt. No, the two. <laughs> I think he needs the three, doesn't he? He's not quite sure. He's changing his mind. Has he just played? Uh oh. Defensive position. Really? Well, that sucks. But it's the right play by him. Definitely the right play. Right, he's got nine damage on the board as it stands. We could have more. Uh, actually, I'll take a shield. <laughs> I mean, I've got to survive this round. Another shield. Handy. He's claimed the special. What's he got? What's he got? Three damage. Five. So one. So it can take two more. Three. And then two more. Number nine. I'll take that and resource. Well, real difficulty is here. These aren't dead cards to me at the moment. They aren't dead cards. I should just get rid of one off. I think maybe one off. Uh, okay, let's do another deck. Okay, let's do another deck. Um, the Great Fire has eaten the majority consciousness as yet. Yeah. Um, apologies, I'm a bit annoyed because that's a slightly wrong build. I shouldn't have local garrison in it. Um, I'm going to take you on the stream. Two 
Right, we're going to do a quick debrief. Just very quick on that before we hit another another deck. Um, just chat about Poe Maz, really. Um, and we're going to play Union Akbar for the next one. Okay, so Poe Maz has just got all the tools. Um, and the difficulty is that unless you are running loads of removal, like my correct build is, so sorry about that, it's really annoying, um, then, uh, well, well, I think that's at least a good example of why you need to have quite a lot of removal in a deck like that. Um, there's really no way to mitigate Poe and Thermal Detonator. I mean, you just can't deal with it. What you need to be able to do is suck it up, get the resources out, try and keep Unkar alive, and play your Endless Ranks. Um, because those Endless Ranks, with two characters to be able to play it on, and obviously you're going to play it on Death Trooper, uh, is, is really strong. Um, and Unkar makes the resources so i think if you're a po maz player you need to get rid of onkar first that needs to be your sort of focus um but um yeah that was that that was i'm apologizing playing against a good tuned build and dante knows what he's doing with that deck and and i had just loaded up the wrong one there i apologize so but let's have an let's have another go against it but we'll play with the Jin akbar um uh, Dante, did you have anything to add to that? Uh, hopefully, for me, Permaz is why my first tournament deck was Triple Rebel Commando. Since then, they've realised they can just yeah, you can just loop it. It just can just keep on going. Um, so I mean, it's really strong. Card double pilot fail. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's. Yeah. I feel like the extra hit points on Death Trooper make him worth it. Um, so, uh, let's have a look here. Anything from... Yeah, okay. Just quickly. Uh, Dante, you're in the stream, aren't you? Yeah, I played the wrong build there, mate. Sorry. Um, I should have had... 10 removal cards in there. I think we got seven um, and uh, three characters is really hard I presume yeah um, yeah I'm not I think Pomaz is your main difficulty there's no two ways about it if you're playing an Imperial Inspection deck your fast Pomaz deck is your, is your big hard sort of game to play but this of course is not a difficult or shouldn't be uh, well, well as long as you see second chance and this will be really interesting I mean let's see whether there is any way this deck can stand up to Pomaz without seeing its second chance um, I think that'll be the oh hang on sorry we're up against Vader Raider new build now which I think is still going to be doing the business right we've got armor belt uh, early on. Hmm. I like cunning. But it's whether he's going to play out when you can potentially going to be a mind probe out so I mean we'll keep it but it might not be the right thing we've got con artist so that'll be that'll be good hmm yeah yeah you're right no brainer it's just consistent and there's nothing you can do about it it's so hard to deal with uh, right let's have a roll then see what we've got Oh, this should be Otto Gunga. Yeah, 
longer. Oh, I apologise, I seem to have not quite had these decks correctly loaded up. Here we go, should be that one. Uh, as he picked his. Okay. And that two on to Jin. Okay, so second chances don't turn up early. So, um, I think what we'll do, and we've got no mitigation. And we've got four upgrades. It's a bad starting hand. So, I'm going to pay two for the con artist. Because sometimes it's just a card or two in it, as you know, uh, at the end of a, a game when you're milling. Is he fast hand? Oh, yeah. Um, can you get rid of that cunning? Um, sometimes it's just a card or two in it, as you know. And it feels like sometimes you can just get that one con artist off. That can make the difference, even if you overwrite it fairly quickly. Uh, let's... Hit this. Nice, got the two focus. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's discard two. Two decent ones to get rid of. Bait and switch and a deflect. Just check into reroll. You didn't hunger down. Interesting. All right to disrupt so we will do this turn that to the six oops to the six to the five and we'll turn that to the four ah what we're we doing no we should turn that to the oh, five taking a one okay uh, Where's that one damage? On there. Got rid of an electroshock. Reclaim, get a resource. I'm gonna take one. Uh, and I can just be able to play second chance out straight from here. So. Or do I play at that data pad? Do I play at the data pad? Hmm. I think what I will do is that because I can overwrite the data pad, but at least I'll get to roll it in with second chance, which is a cool thing. Right, drawing three, gain two resources. Eesh, we haven't drawn it, that is a shame. Oh my goodness, he's got four speed and a vibro knife on over there, so we're up against it. We are up against it. Not seeing much removal. That's painful. We double blanked as well. Feel your anger. <laughs> Don't know, Vader Raider would we even really sort of play that at the moment. All right. Let's discard one of these. So we've got fast hands, firing off the two extra actions on that. So we're going to have three and three, so seven. Oops. Total. Great. We've got two cards left in hand. Uh, We'll do this. Just got two off, but if we don't see a uh, second chance soon, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so let's discard one of those cards. Yeah. The 
price of failure. So good. Fortunately, it hasn't really worked for me when I've used it previously, but oh. well, that's that's pretty devastating. I think I'm just gonna have to roll this in. He's done the right thing. Oh, and he's hit it as well. Oh, we can't fast hands it there. So I. Oh, seven, I don't think. Yeah, oh, uh. Um, can I negotiate? I think that might have just stopped him from being able to do enough at least, but he can hit me for two and claim. Uh, I need to keep, I feel like maybe, I don't want to cheat and put an ammo belt back. Um, Play that last card, you should have had two damage there. Mm. Don't really want to discard for either of those dice. Yeah, it's all about seeing second chance now. Okay. GG. Didn't see it, so that's game. Oh. There it is. Um, so, um, I don't know if I got through loads of cards there. Uh, I mean, still have 18 left. It wasn't like it was really unfortunate. Um, what were the next five? Was it in there? Yeah, it was in the next five. So, hmm. Wow. So, I think these, you know, people moaning about second chance and ammo belt and how powerful it is. I'm a, guys are uh, decks are fast enough you know aggro decks are fast enough out there um, one second um, um, yeah I'm, listen aggro decks are fast enough and that's the thing um, uh, yeah, that's an interesting one, Pezio. Maybe, maybe not. Not too sure. Um, but, yeah, there, there are counters to it. Well, the thing is, as I've talked before in the stream, Imperial Inspection decks are going to do quite well against those control -y, second chance Ammon Belt decks. And the aggro decks, I think, do really quite well often against those Imperial Inspection decks. As Poe Maz kind of showed there, I think Imperial Inspection, uh, you know, my proper build, which sorry that I didn't get to play with in the stream, um, has got 10 removal cards in. Uh, and you need that amount of removal, I think. Um, so this is why you've got this really interesting, I think quite an interesting meta. You know, you've got the hard counter to the big aggro decks that are out there, like Poe Maz, like your Vader Raiders. And like a whole bunch of others that are sort of strong tier two, I think, um, aggro decks. Uh, and that's your second chance hammer belt. But then that doesn't do so well against Imperial Inspection. But Imperial Inspection doesn't do so well against aggro. Um, so, I'm, I think if you pushed me, I think, I think the aggro decks, whilst they 
might feel to many like they're they're second tier now and actually it's all about second chance ammo belt and it's all about imperial inspection decks those are two really strong decks yes but it's this little triumvirate of almost main strategies they're all bouncing off one another and and I feel like so you know I'm trying to test for what I'm going to take to the UK Games Expo which is where the Destiny Europeans are at and it's really interesting I am bouncing between which deck feels like the strongest or feels like the stronger um, Pomaz is really strong there's no two do no two ways about that and and I think the Imperial Inspection decks can beat it but I think they have to really tech for lots of removal and then I think that makes them slightly weaker against those um, uh, second chance ammo belt decks but they're quite strong against that anyway so um, maybe second chance ammo belt decks I mean if you don't see second chance you lose and there are so many good fast aggro decks that I mean, if you don't see it in those first two rounds, like round three is often too late. Gin is dead by then, uh, unless you've managed to get like a lone operative off. Um, you know, maybe maybe those decks need to be playing uh, field medic. <sighs> Who knows? I mean, I, I feel like there's so many elements and aspects to it. Uh, Sure, no brainer. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe another one will sort of rise up in the next. You know, maybe some sort of vehicle support deck or something like that, perhaps. Um, that is quite strong, but it's still probably going to be using like second chance hammer belt or something like that anyway. Um, Genagro deck. No, nah. um, I think yeah. No, I think you could be right. No brainer. Um, Pomaz does feel like the deck to beat um when it comes to aggro and i think you know if i'm building my if i'm building my imperial inspection that's why i'm putting 10 dedicated removal cards in because i need to be able to get podice off the table as quickly as possible and i need to be able to defend myself as much as possible um and so i mean i literally have in my imperial inspection deck it's 10 um it um it's I mean it's ten removal, it's the four supports, the two imperial inspection and the two um, salvage yard, and then the rest of its upgrades. It's either dealing damage, so blasters and pistols, or it's um, uh, the personal shields uh, and the data pads to put onto uh, on car to help make those imperial inspections and salvage yards go off. Um, so. Yeah, I feel like a I think I feel like a Vader blue element is really strong because there's so much damage at hand there, lightsaber throw, now you'll die. Um when you add in four speed turns, uh use the force basically into another four strike, you've got four strike, uh you've got intimidate, which is basically sort of damage at hand. <sighs> you know, there's there's so so much. And if you go yellow then you've got bait and switch, you've got fast hands of course, all that kind of thing. So um, and po draws a hit and run exactly, um, but again, that's only two cards in the deck, you know. So, I think the Imperial Inspection decks, I mean, I think it's probably like 60 40, um, a good quality high removal build of Unkar. Um, but then your difficulty is that, uh, that, that, that becomes a harder win, then we've got that much removal in against the Hero Mill decks. This game is ban list. <laughs> Maybe not just yet. Um, yeah. Po so I think I think to to finish the stream up, guys. I think what I'm drawing out of this is um, we know Pomaz is is the probably the strongest aggro deck. Um, and then it feels like there's just a whole bunch of decks that are maybe just underneath it. Um, and your difficulty with, because obviously I'm trying to work out what I'm going to take, your, your difficulty with going, right, well, I'll play Pomaz then, is it's a little bit like, I mean, look at Worlds. 
everyone in the build it to was expecting lots and lots sam it's not a million miles away from my mind everyone uh was expecting lots of django and actually of course django wasn't really much in 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 the world's uh, finals in the end because people are expecting that and so sort of taking decks to do quite well against it and whether that's the kind of thing that could happen with po Maz at a big tournament like europeans maybe um but, but uh yeah i think it's it's really interesting it's a really intriguing situation how to deal with po Maz. Is Imperial Inspection better? Is Second Chance Ammo Belt better? Um, uh, or or do you just run it? <laughs> um, or do you go just very hard counter against it? I think probably the best card to play against it is the best defense. Um, because if you can if you can the best defense those two po dice away, I think that's really strong. Um, if you can potentially manage to get negotiate off, but you need to be faster, you need to claim the battlefield. I think unless they play a fast hands first turn, the first thing, but then they're probably going to play hit and run next. So negotiates hard to get off really and get rid of his two two dice. So ah, uh, yeah, there's. I think that's where things currently are now in the meta guys. Poe can't do Poe things when he's dead turn one and I have crime molded Poe on turn one absolutely um, and p perhaps that's what you do it, you know uh, has crossed my mind as to you know resurrect the old fast fat lords um, Unkar and Jabba uh, that's something that might work who knows um, I'd be quite keen to, to do some testing of it in this run up um, it will be in there and if I can make a build that not only deals with Pomaz, um, not only deals with, obviously it, it can do quite well against Jin, um, but that's a classic. If they see second chance first, psh, you've got basically no chance unless you can manage to outmill them. Um, so, and that's a possibility, you know, at least with, with running something like Jabba and Unkar, uh, you, you could also mill them out as well. So um, that's, Another deck that I think is just sort of bubbling under. I have one. I think it's oh, tomorrow. It can outmill. Hey, sexy. It can outmill Jindex. Cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, so I'm going to stop the stream for now. But feel free to carry on uh, chatting and stuff. Um, so yeah there's some exciting stuff going on this meta gang there's some you know it's it's there's some stuff to work out i think um so yeah uh well until next time keep enjoying destiny see you now